Hi guys, this is Hyomjin Max, aka Max. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So today, we're actually getting a brand new icon in FIFA 23 that we have never seen before, right? He is not an icon. I'm going to talk about the upcoming content as well as the market itself. Now, let's take a look at the content that was released yesterday. We got the 80 plus player pick, right? The requirements, it's actually 10 goal commons. And this time round, right, it's actually one of four instead of one of three, which is, of course, great for us. I think that is actually very decent value because at this time, right, we could have, you know, gotten a 82 plus player pick for 10 goal commons, possibly. However, it's probably like one of three for your 82 plus player pick. But a one of four, right, it makes a huge, huge difference. This pick is actually very good for Fodder itself due to the sheer amount of special cards, right, that we have in Footy's batch one itself. So, you know, because of the fact that it's one of four, I mentioned in yesterday's video that we are unlikely to see any other 80 plus kind of upgrade pack, right? Other than this pick that we have because it's one of four. So we're not going to be getting the Premier League specific player pick, at least not for the next six days, probably. So what this did was, of course, I told you guys to actually go and invest in your goal comments. And, you know, your goal comments, right, actually went up in price. They basically double all the way up at about 600 coins right now. So if you actually pick them up at between 300 to 350 coins yesterday for your low budget guys, you're actually making profit already. So you can cash out at about 600 coins. Easy, easy coins right there. So I also spoken in my previous video yesterday that possibly, right, we're going to get a 84 by 10, or 85 by 7. You know, those kind of um, upgrade packs. And we did. We did get the pack itself. The 84 by 10. Let's take a look because I already completed it on my end. So the requirements, it's actually a 86 rated squad with three 87s. So of course, um, there's no team of the weeks, tots or special cuts required this time round. In total, comes up to about 63k. So in terms of price, 63k is definitely fair value. And you're actually right, exchanging 11 players for 10 players back. So to me, it's actually not that bad at all. I will complete it if you have enough fodder because you can keep recycling, right, to try and pack this um, footies cards. So this actually refreshes every single day, which is great for us as traders. And of course, this actually made your 87, right, explode. We'll talk about this later on in the video itself. Now, yesterday, we also gotten a SBC in the shape of your birthday Maldini. So there are a couple of um, segments to complete, right, 84. 88, 289, 290, 191, as well as a 92 rated squad. Now, the price of this SBC comes up to about 1.35 mil. Is he expensive? Yes. Is he overpriced? Let's take a look at the tradable version, right, to get a better gauge of whether he's actually overpriced. So, if you actually look, right, last week, he was actually at about 2 mil, right, hovering between, you know, 2.1 to about 1.8 mil itself. And then, of course, right, he dropped when people actually know that he's going to come as a SBC itself, right? He dropped until about, you know, 1.6 to 1.5 mil. And then yesterday, after the SBC has already been released, and he actually cost about 1.35 mil, he's now below the SBC price at 1.25 mil itself. So I guess that, you know, he, he will cost about 1.8 mil yesterday. So for him to be at, you know, 1.35 mil for his SBC, right? For me, it's actually fantastic values. Points wives. Is it expensive? Yes, but it's underpriced in my opinion. Now, Maldini is still your top five center backs in the game right now. So, if you need a center back and you don't have Varane, De Ligt, Kimpembe, you can complete him. If you're unsure whether he's better than your center backs, you can pick him up at um, 1.25 mil, right, to just try him out. And then, if you don't like him, then don't complete the SBC itself. Now, this end of an era icon, right, was actually leaked by um, Foot Scoreboard. So, they are actually going to be coming. We don't know whether is it as an SVC or whether they will be in packs itself, right? So who could it be, right? Who could we be seeing in your end of an era icon? Right? Could it be Benzema? Could it be Ibra? I got a feeling, right, it's going to be a brand new icon we have um, never ever seen before. So some of the criteria, right, would be probably, right, players who retired this season, players who moved on after a very long time at a club, this could be a player you know, who's going to be an icon in EAFC 24. We have a couple of candidates, right, that actually fill some of the criteria itself. Can EA do a madness, right, and possibly give us a end of an era 
icon Sergio Aguero itself. He's actually on the list, right, of heroes and icons, right, for EA FC 24. So Aguero, always a fantastic player in-game. I really hope EA can surprise us, even though, you know, we all know that he don't actually have a card in FIFA 23. So this is going to be a bit tougher to add right now. But, you know, we can hope, can't we? Now, Ribery, right, it's confirmed as an icon, right, in EA FC 24. So I know that, you know, previously, right, he has already had an end of an era SBC earlier in the game cycle itself. And, you know, if we actually take a look at the stats, right, at his time, right, he was actually very, very good in-game, right? I've, he's actually a long, long time club servant of mine. I used him all the way to Tots, and he's actually very, very good. The 5-5 five, five definitely helps his cause. That is the reason why he has like 995 games for me. So even though he has an end of the era SBC earlier in the game cycle, right? I can see EA actually, you know, making him into an icon because they have already done a lot of first in this game, right? They have done so many things for the very first time. For the very first time, right, we have brand new footies players in packs, right? Not just in SBCs, you know, for the first time ever as well. Our level up cards are actually obtainable in packs and you can use them to upgrade under objectives. Right? Previously, it has never been done before. All your, you know, kind of level up cards, right? Or upgraded cards, right? Can only be done through like SBCs or objectives, right? If you guys played the game long enough, you would know. So what EA has been doing is they have been testing out things that they want to do in EAFC 24 in FIFA 23. Which kind of makes a lot of sense because the game is ending. So what better time to test out new ideas, right? Than right now itself. So this is possibly, right, the SBC that everybody is waiting for. Your end of an era icon, right, Ibrahimovic. Shout out to uh, Criminal X for the graphics itself. He didn't come previously because I mentioned, right, Ibra actually has some issues with EA itself. That might have already been sorted out. If it's sorted, we could potentially see him as an icon, right, in EFC 24 as well as in FIFA 23 itself. If we get this, everybody's going to lose their minds, right? When will we see this? My guess is it could probably right, be as early as this upcoming weekend, that is my guess. This will really really shake up everything and make everybody right, very excited to play this game. And most importantly for EA right, to actually pre-order right, EA FC 24, so it's going to be a fantastic marketing move for them. Now, so what content right, can we be expecting to see today? So on this very day in FIFA 22, we got a 86 plus player pick. So the requirements, they were actually a 84 rated squad with 70 chemistry. Comes up to about 56k. So this time, my guess is, it's probably going to be like an 84 rated squad with one team of the week. Or it could just be purely just an 85 rated squad itself. The cost should be around 50k. So this is actually very good, right? For people who are actually lazy listing their 83s and 84s. Because it's a lower squad requirement. And we also know for a fact that the 84 by SBC... 84 by 10 SBC, right? It's actually refreshing. So where can we actually, right, put our coins? So I mentioned about this 83s, right? For your both console and PC players, right? You can continue lazy listing your 83s. However, this time drop the price down to 2.2k. So for your 84s, for both your console and PC players, right? Continue lazy listing them at 3k. So what should we be investing in for today itself? It's actually super simple, right? Just go for your 87s. It's very, very clear cut. For your 87, go rest. Get them on beat at 15.250 max for your console players. 14.750k on beat. PC players, 14.5k max, 14k on beat. You can also go for your 87 special rated cards because they're actually, right, cheaper. Any special rated card, 87 rated card at 11.750 max for your console players. 11.250 on beat. PC players, 13.5k max, 13k on bid. Now, I see, right, both 87 gold rares, right, as well as your 87 rated special cards, right, doing very well. Even though, personally, I think, right, the gold rares will probably do better because people tend to go for gold rares, right, when actually completing SBCs, especially your casual players itself. So, some of you might ask me, right, why don't I, you know, why don't I go for 88 rated? Because 88 rated right now, right, they are actually cheaper than your... 87 rated cards, right? Especially some of the gold rares itself. 
Now, the funny thing is sometimes, right, even though the price is actually cheaper, right, for your 88 rated cards, right, your casuals, right, when they see 3 times 87 right, they're, they're not going to go on Footbin to go and check out the prices. All they're going to do is they're just going to look for your Gold Rare 87 to complete the SBC. It will never occur to them to go and search for your 88 Gold Rares to actually use them for the SBC, right, even though, right, Take a look at this. Bernardo Silva Gold Red 13k is definitely cheaper than your Thomas Muller Gold Red or your Rodri Gold Red at 13.5k, right? Even though they are actually higher rated. So it's your casual players. I would say, right, just go for your 87, even though technically, right, 88s are actually cheaper itself. And if we move back here, right, let's take a look at some of the other investments, right, that we can be doing right now. So if you're new to the channel, we have been doing this for a very long time now. Your moments, right, are actually very good to flip with. And, you know, right now, right, they are actually at about 14k. So what you can do is, right, you can actually, right, go and pick up your moments, right, on bid. Wow, they are actually kind of up. All right, they are actually at about 15k right now. Just now they were at 14k. So what you want to be doing right now, right, is you can mass bid at 12k and then sell them right back, right, at 15k. Or you can wait an hour and 10 minutes after content drop mass bid at 11.5k to 12k max and then you can sell them right back right at about 14.5k that is something that you can do every single day and i have profits to show you guys right that the people in our discord are doing this and they are making lots of coins simply by doing this every single day now your further thoughts right has actually dropped in price because they weren't required in sbc's yesterday so right now they are at about 28.5k or so right so Fairly good prices for your thoughts, in my opinion. If you want to pick them up at 28.5k, you can definitely go ahead and do that. You can also try to get them on bid at about 27k or so, right? 26, 27k should be pretty good to pick them up at. The whole time will probably be 4 to 5 days, right? They could drop further, however, if they're actually not required for SBCs. Definitely, right, your team of the weeks, they're actually hovering at about 27.5k to 28k or so. So, you know, you can actually, right, do quick flips with them as well. You can try to pick them up on bid, right, at about 25k and then sell them right back, right, at about 27k. So you make almost, right, 2k a card. That is another trading method that you can do. Just make sure that you sell all of your Team of the Weeks before content drop today because your Team of the Week tradable SBC, right, actually makes its return today. So your Team of the Weeks, I foresee, if they're not required for SBCs today, right, the brand new SBCs, right, they probably will drop to about 20k or so, right? It all depends on whether they're required for your 86 plus player pick. So, you know, should we buy them at 20k if they actually drop to that price? It's kind of a tough call, right? Whether to pick up your team of the weeks this time round. Because what is different this time round than, you know, last time is the fact that, right, your team of the week tradable SBC, right? When it comes back today, it's actually going to go away, right? In two days time. So we don't know what EA will do, right? It's going to refresh today, go away in two days time. If they re-release your tradable team of the weeks in two days time, right? Your team of the weeks will definitely drop down further in price. So they could drop all the way down to as low as 14 to 15k itself. So I would, see, I would say, right, the best thing to do or the wisest thing to do, right? It's actually to monitor and see how low, right, the team of the weeks drop down first. So I'm going to be live on Twitch during content drop. So you can pop by, join the Discord. You'll be notified when I go live. If they drop low enough, we can possibly right, go all in on your team of the weeks. It all depends on the price itself. I'm going to be monitoring it live later on today at content drop. Now, some of the content that we should be seeing, right, it's also a footies player SBC today. Um, we didn't get one yesterday, which is you know kind of disappointing in my opinion because we only got the Maldini birthday SBC. Now, this also means that we possibly right, will not get a daily footies player SBC every single day, which, you know, I think it's not that ideal because we actually got a daily footies player SBC, right, back in FIFA 22. So I hope, you know, EA actually tries to keep that up, try to release more player SBCs, right, every single day. Today is also a pretty big day as well, right, for your EA FC 24. Because if we take a look at this trailer itself, right, the... Review for your heroes in EA FC 24, right, will be today. I hope that we have some good heroes and then if you actually pre-order your game, right, you can actually get a ultimate hero for free. 
So that is one of the perks of uh, pre-ordering early. So let's talk about the market itself, especially your level up cards, because I know some of you are still competing it. If we take a look at your level 1 team 1 cards, right? Last week, during the midweek itself, right, was when it actually started to experience a significant drop. So your Fonzie Davis, he went from about 560k all the way down to about 400k on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, right, he actually dropped even more, right? He went from about 360 all the way down to about 250k. So not just your kind of middle tier cards, even your top top tier cards like your KDB itself, right? He actually saw a significant price drop on Wednesday during midweek itself. So he went from about 7.5 mil all the way down to about 6.8. And then on Thursday, right, he dropped even further all the way down to about 4.6 mil. So expect to see the kind of same trend, right, for your team 2 cards, right? Um, they're actually going to start dropping a lot as more and more people actually complete the players itself. So I would advise you, right, try to get your objective done ASAP. If you can't, right, just make sure to know that on Wednesday and Thursday, right, it's actually when we start to see, right, huge drop-offs for your level-up cards. So just be careful. As usual, once done with the games, just go ahead and sell the card. Don't take that risk because they're going to drop a lot. Last week, right, on Tuesday, right, we actually got our Weekend League objective, right? Remember, we actually got your Error Devise objective for your Weekend League. And what happened was, you know, your Error Devise cards, right, players like Todd Simmons, they actually tripled in price. So last week, it was the Ever Devise. This week, you know, we could potentially be getting Turkish League. It could be MLS, it could be Saudi League, any one of those minor leagues. And whichever league is being chosen, right, that that league, right, that cut prices, right, will definitely explode in price. So again, I'll be on at Content Drop, right, to actually monitor all this so you can join us and actually make some quick, easy coins. I'm going to call out the cuts to actually pick up. Let's take a look at the, you know, the profits that people are making right in the Discord itself. So selling 88s at 18k, right? I already mentioned in my trading video yesterday, 80s, 88s, 89s, and your 92s, right? Were actually my favorite. So they actually did very, very well. And then I talked about flipping moments, right? This is an example of flipping moments. So this member in my Discord picked up moments at 11k to between 11.5k, flipped them at 13.5k, 2k per cut. Easy coins there. Talked about lazy listing your AD trees at 2.6k in my Discord. Take a look. They are actually selling at 2.6k. If you want to get this kind of selling prices, right, especially for your lazy list, right, you have to list them, right, during content drop itself. If you actually do it, you know, outside of content drop, right, unless AD trees are right, absolutely flew in price, right, it's kind of hard for you to actually get that kind of sales, right. And then moving on, we have um, 88s as well, selling for slightly lower prices. I believe this member probably got on quite a few hours after content drop to sell. And then I also have this trading method for your lower budget folks. If you have less than 100k or so, right, this is actually the perfect trading method for you guys. And we are actually position modifying, right, Morales and Bellarabi, right, to sell. I will leave the link at the top right hand corner for you guys to link it to the video that I spoke about this. There's going to be a timestamp below so you can check check it out if you actually want to learn how to make coins off these cards, especially if you have uh, very little coins. And then also, right, yeah, another page of 88 itself. So everybody in my Discord is making coins because I give them the sell prices. I give them two sell prices so that they can absolutely right, maximize their profit. So if you guys want the sell prices, you can join up the Discord while it's still currently free. Because you guys on YouTube, you only get the buy prices. If you guys have Amazon as well, go and get your free gaming pack from EA. Link your EA Sports account to your Amazon Prime account and you will get a free Prime gaming pack every single month from EA. And of course, if you actually appreciate the content on my channel, whether it's on YouTube, Discord or Twitch itself, you can actually sub to me for free on Twitch if you have Amazon Prime. It's going to be 100% free for you, but... It will mean a lot to me because it actually really pushes me, right, to give you guys more quality content. I just do my absolute best for y'all to make sure y'all make lots of coins and y'all stay up to date with the game itself. And to thank you guys, right, for staying till the end of the video, I also have a footage player pick for y'all. Let's see whether how good the pack weight is. Let's open up the one of four eighty plus player pick first. Check out how good this is, right? Eighty three is not that. Ideal. Hopefully we see something good from this. Come on, man. Give me that Dino gem, man. I need that Dino gem. 
All right, we got a big mic. Not too bad, in my opinion. So that's it from me. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you guys want to see more trading videos, the latest news and leaks about the game itself, even for EAFC24, hit that sub button. Thank you guys so much for the support once again, and I'm out. All right, take care, guys.